Hey, hey developers, today we're gonna look at the most popular web frameworks and we'll find out what technology beat out React as the most popular library slash web framework out there. And then we're gonna take a look at what else the 2020 Stack Overflow survey told us and some interesting trends I see and some interesting results that I see from this survey. So make sure you stay all the way to the end and you can find it all out. Hey, and if you're brand new to this channel, my name is Eric. I am a full stack software developer. I have many years of software development experience. I'm also the author of a few books. And if you like React, if you like Vue.js, if you like Angular, if you just like technology, make sure you click that subscribe button, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's, let's begin. Oh yeah, before we begin, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. I just want to take a moment and thank our sponsor, Dot Tech Domains. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably love domain names and you love to buy ones that are short and relevant, but also most importantly, available. And that's what's really cool about Dot Tech Domains. There's a ton of really cool domains available. And the Dot Tech Domain is broad enough that you can kind of understand that this is technology related as well. A lot of really cool sites are using dot tech domains like hollywood.tech, viacom.tech, even personal sites like austinevans.tech. So if you guys are interested and you want to search for a really cool domain name, go to go.tech slash Eric and then search for your domain name. If you end up buying it, you actually get up to 80% off on one year and five year domains. So go to go.tech slash Eric and go ahead and pick up that domain name. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this survey here. We're gonna look at the results of it and we're also gonna see some interesting things that I noticed. Now, if you don't know what Stack Overflow is, you've probably been under a rock, but if you have, let me explain real quickly what it is. So it's a website that allows anyone to post questions to and then people answer those questions and the most upvoted questions make it to the top is essentially how it works. It's been around for many, many years. I would say in the last five or six years, it has actually lost a little bit of momentum, but it's still a pretty useful resource. I enjoy using it. I also use a lot of GitHub issues. I use a lot of blogs when I'm searching around. Basically, anytime you Google for something online, you'll probably find a Stack Overflow article that explains a little bit of it. There is uh, definitely, for any sort of community, this community has had its growing pains over the years. People have said it's a little elitist but I think it's still a really useful, really useful website and they do these amazing surveys. And I think this is probably the biggest survey for developers out there. I know there's a state of JavaScript survey, which is a lot different, but this kind of gives you a good idea of the industry as a whole. So let's take a look at it. I'm just gonna riff off this. I'm gonna have this unedited. So whatever comes to mind, I will just talk about. So first, some interesting trends they talk about right away is like some key notes that they mentioned in here. And a few of them are like more than 75% of developers worked overtime. I think as all of us as developers, we've all worked overtime and that's pretty common. This is Australian re re respond respondents report the highest average amount of coding experience at 16.9, followed by the United Kingdom and United States. They said that uh, people are still using Stack Overflow and they think that it's a little bit more welcoming and that more than 40% of respondents reported that they're members of other online development communities beyond Stack Overflow. And I think that's really common, especially in the web development community. I see a lot of people using Free Code Camp. I see a lot of Medium articles. I see a lot of Dev.2 articles. I think that has become uh, communities that a lot of people flock to nowadays, especially in the web development, uh, front end development communities. So one thing I wanted to show you is that uh, looking at experience, I think this is kind of an interesting topic. I think in the web development world, we've really seen a shift in the last, I don't know, 10 years where there's a whole lot of self-taught developers, a whole lot of boot camp developers coming into the world and a lot of them go to the front end. But in general, if we look at the levels of education, if we kind of go down a little bit here, education, it's still vastly the amount of people that get into this field, and that's everything from the front end, back end, data science, have a bachelor's degree. According to the survey, 46.2% of people, uh, all respondents, including professional developers, have at least a bachelor's degree, uh, a BS, a, a bachelor's engineering, or they have a master's degree, or they have some college. So if you add all that up, I mean, that's almost like 70% of the industry has some sort of college education, either some college or they've graduated with a degree or they went back in a, for a master's degree. And I think this is really interesting because we always think 
like we don't need a degree, but why is so many people still getting degrees? And I think that's part of the reason is that this is a global audience that takes the survey. So outside of the United States, it's probably more common to get a degree. While in the United States, it's still probably common, but not as common because education is so expensive here. It also kind of makes me feel like if you don't have a degree, you're going to feel even more like you don't belong, I guess. Sometimes people who don't have a degree feel like they might have a chip on their shoulder that they may be passed up for job job opportunities. And this kind of survey shows that still the vast majority of developers around the globe are still getting a degree of some kind. And now you're thinking, well, maybe they're just getting degrees that don't help. But actually, over 61% of the respondents had a computer science, computer engineering, or software engineering degree, which once again kind of shows that Yes, degrees are important and that people are getting them. And then, of course, there's some people that are just getting like mechanical engineering or statistics and things like that. And this is funny. I've never seen this before. Maybe they did it last year, but I didn't notice it. But they talk about formal education and importance. Almost 85% of the respondents that are professional developers feel that formal education is at least somewhat important which is contrary to the popular idiom that you don't need formal education to become a developer. However, almost 16% believe that it's not all important and necessary. So it seems like even though everybody out there is screaming, we don't need a software, de- you don't need a degree to get a software development job. You don't need a CS degree. But it looks like most people that have it, well, first, most people that are in the industry has a software developer degree and or some some sort of degree. And those that, and then overall, people think that it's probably is kind of important to have. Now, your opinions may vary. Leave a comment below if you completely disagree. But it looks like, at least from this survey, it looks like some people think it's important. Personally, I think anything you can do to try to give a get a some sort of advantage over everyone else is important. If a four-year degree will get you at the top of the line of becoming a developer, then I think that's important. If you're later in life or it doesn't work out, you know, degrees may not be the right right for you. Maybe a, a boot camp is better for you. Or maybe you're one of those people that can be just self-taught. Developer role and gender. We see varying representations from men and women in different developer roles on our survey. All categories have dramatically more developers who identify as men than women, but the ratio of men to women varies. Developers types above the line have responded that are more likely than average to be men, and those below the data line have responded more likely than average to be women. Developers who are data scientists or academic researchers are about 10 times more likely to be men than women. While developers who are system admins or DevOps specialists are 25 to 30 times more likely to be men than women, women have the highest representations in the front end developers, designers, data scientists, data analysts, QA, or test developers. So you can see here, women are more represented in front end devs and full stack devs. Let's jump to technology while we're at it. There's no surprise here, JavaScript is still the most popular language out there between programming, scripting, and markup languages. It still seems to be pretty powerful. HTML, CSS, JavaScript is always uh, kind of near the top. With SQL, Python, Java is kind of near, near the bottom. So here's what I was talking about in my, my little teaser at the beginning on web frameworks. jQuery is still uh, the most popular web framework out there. Uh, it still beats out React, even though React is inching up and probably will overtake it at some point. But 35% of response use jQuery, React, a version of Angular, uh, or Flavor ASP.NET. So you can see here that uh, out of 42,000 responses, jQuery is still uh, one of the most popular web frameworks and a beat out React. Uh, Angular being third, and then all the way down here in seventh place is Vue.js, which is this is very different than what we see. With when we look at the state of JavaScript survey, when they looked at their most popular frameworks, React was always at the top, and then it was followed by like Vue, and then I think Angular was third. So I mean, I think maybe this is just different audiences. Maybe when you get the state of JavaScript survey, which is another really popular survey, since they're just focusing on the front end in JavaScript, you're more likely to, it may be skewed more towards React developers. I've also heard that the people that were promoting the state of JavaScript survey were more in the React ecosystem and React world, and that's why they were promoting it more, and React seems to be the top of all that. But we could see, obviously, there are still React is really extremely popular, but it looks like there's still people holding out and still using jQuery, and which is funny. I, I, I honestly think that jQuery needs to... Um, it's fine, but needs to kind of... It, it could go away. 
I'll be happy if it goes away. So other other fr frameworks, libraries, and tools, Node.js, .NET. There's no surprise there. You know, if you're everybody's becoming a full stack JavaScript developer, so everybody's learning Node. I'm assuming that's probably one of the most popular, and also people are using lambdas, things like that. And .NET uh, databases, no surprise there with MySQL and PostgreSQL as being the most popular. With Microsoft SQL third, and platforms, you know, people love Linux and Windows. And they're pretty pretty close together. Uh, you'd see, you'd think, yep. I mean, this this is uh, this makes a lot of sense. And most love, dreaded, and wanted languages. This is really cool. So TypeScript. I think is really gaining a lot of speed in the last couple of years. It used to be mostly just for Angular devs because Angular 2 Plus had it built in and people um, in a lot of the other communities kind of shied away from it. They didn't like it. They thought it was too complicated. I feel like now the React community is starting to embrace TypeScript a lot more. I would say maybe two years ago they were really against it, but I think more and more type uh, React developers are going to TypeScript. And I think even Vue developers, a lot of Vue developers are looking at TypeScript too, even though the tooling wasn't that great until Vue 3. It's getting better. Like Vuex now supports TypeScript out of the box, and it didn't really before. Um, with Vuex 4, it does. Uh, but you can see here, like TypeScript's getting more and more more love. I think it's definitely it's being a shift uh, that people are liking it a lot more. And of course, it's a superset of JavaScript, so you you can use it and. Be backwards compatible with all your JavaScript stuff. Dreaded, Visual Basic, <laughs> Objective-C, Perl Assembly. So one thing you don't see here is I don't see Angular. So I don't, you know, in the state of JavaScript survey, they said that Angular was probably one of the most dreaded frameworks. Like people didn't like using it as much. And obviously it's not even representative here at all. Um, this might be, I mean, this doesn't look like it goes into frameworks, but you don't see it at all. Someone did put TypeScript right at the bottom. I wanted, I think Python's super popular as it always is. Python and JavaScript and Go are some of the most wanted ones. Uh, okay, here it is. Most loved, dreaded, and wanted web frameworks. Loved, React, Vue. React and Vue.js and Vue are really at the top. Angular is kind of near the bottom. So if you look at this dreaded, uh, Angular.js, which they good they made a, a separation between the Angular.js, which is the old Angular, and Angular, which is the new Angular. So you can see JS is really hated. <laughs> it's dreaded because it's, I guess it's dead pretty much. Um, it's Drupal, jQuery. It's funny, people really hate on jQuery, even though it's one of the most popular web frameworks. Or people, I guess not most popular, but it's still being used or popular. And then Angular is somewhere in the middle. So it's definitely not as hated as some people think. And of course, Vue is, in React is the least hated. Wanted. React and Vue, Angular, all three together, React being the most wanted, Vue and Angular. The percentage of developers who are not developing with this language or technology but have expressed interest in developing with it. So this is just the React craze is still going on. Everybody loves React. And Vue is up there, and so is Angular, which is good. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the other ones. Let's see if there's anything else kind of interesting. It's always look interesting to look at salaries. So we'll wrap this video up here in a, a few minutes. So salary salary by developer type. Um, this is funny. Global salaries are always less than the United States. The United States definitely pays more than anywhere else in the world as a developer. For all the bad things that the U.S. has, all the good and bad, you can always assume that if you want to work in the United States, you get paid the most. Um, that doesn't include how much you have to pay for health care and other things, but you still get paid a lot of money. You can see here. Like engineering manager, hundred fifty thousand. Site reliability, hundred forty thousand. Data science, DevOps. So those are the those get paid the most. The worst paid are probably the designers. Usually, the front end doesn't get paid as much. So if you're just a front end dev and you want the most amount of money, it probably behooves you to like specialize or become a manager or become a DevOps specialist. You usually get paid a lot more. And then salary by experience type, obviously, as you. Um, Get, as your salary goes up, it's probably correlated to the amount of years of experience. And you see the people who get paid more, like Objective-C, Assembly, kind of some of these Scala, Rust, Go, kind of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript usually get paid less, fortunately. 
And yeah, that's that's all I'm going to say on this. It's very interesting. I'll leave a link below so you guys can make your own assumptions, your own conclusions on this data. What do you guys think about the the state of well, the Stack Overflow 2020 survey? What do you think? Do you think it it uh, it really relates to your job and how you're working and your state of mind? Let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate it. Thanks.